from the Capital FC Timber Sports Complex in Salem, Oregon. This is the 2019 USAFL Western Regional Championship presented by HPC Events Services. Brian Irish here with you, the second round of this, uh, the second round of matches here between the Portland Sockeyes and the Sacramento Lady Suns as we move on here in the women's division. We're underway, the Sockeyes wearing the blue and the Suns are the grand jumpers. Right off the bat, the Suns lost in their first game to San Francisco Iron Maidens on the defensive. Carries the ball forward, getting knocked down. Right there, picked that you. one up, and that one was smothered. And after all that, the ball has fallen out of bounds. It'll be boundary throwing up on that far side. Erica! Suns lost 19 to 2 in their first game. I'm behind you. The Sockeyes lost their first game as well to the Seattle Grizzlies. Those two teams are playing behind us right now. Shepard. Oh, Touch that ball, Jenna! Touch that ball! Started to move in, now she'll reset. She has Lauren Skinechny in the middle. She goes with the check side. But get Shut it up, Maze! Defense! Goes to the Portland Sockeyes. Shouting instructions from the Sacramento bench to our way out to the near side. Got away with a little bit of a push there. Did Grant. They're looking for Nicolette Clark. Comes out, picked up in front by Lauren Williams for Portland. Drops in front. That's Cougar going after it. Mean Bowles, the player there, and Sarah Reisacker. And that one goes up high. Picked up by Machado, who kicked the goal nicely. And the Lost to Seattle, and that one has gone through for another one. Set it up, Mays defense! You know what to do! Set it up! Oh, Two nothing oh, to Go out the left side. Good job of carrying them away here, nearly going by the Suns. That one is picked up, it goes off of the defender there, and Jessica once again. Big hit put in there. Hey, Nick, we're up seven. Seven. Five, seven, seven. Call Hester. somebody back. No free kick. Nice, yeah. nice mark. Going up. And taking that one, plucking that apple from the tree was Warren Skinnett's name. She is very ginger going back. See, she has that left leg taped up, but... Here is Skinechny. Good work, Ray. Good work. Extend her team's lead. She walks forward. The kick is on the way. It is dead center. Perfect. Schnitz kicks her goal. One, two, eight. Portland, Sacramento, no score. <laughs> Lawrence Skinechny, who played the USA Liberty team back in 2017. Originally, as we said in the last game, originally a member of the New York Magpies. Just moved to Portland. Michelle Hata, one of the players from the Los Angeles Dragons going off. Olivia Christensen, veteran player for the Suns, heading back in. Once again, the Suns are forced to defend. It'll be a free kick. And it will go to Amanda Mora, one of two players from the Arizona Outlaws on this team. From Portland, the kick is on the way. It's up high. Oh, he almost took that. Of course, Simone Shepard almost took that. But then as soon as the defender got up, and on your ball up, Eileen Yu. Instead of just a good tap. Hands up, play off. 
from the LA Dragons playing for the Sacramento Suns on this team. Milani Silvio, Alan Yoon, Delfina Delgadillo, uh, Michelle Hotta, Amy Arendale is across from the New York Magpies in this game, and Olivia Bongra from North Star Blue Ops. Pick up by Sarah Cavett, and she is gone. And it's a free kick. That's a ball up. Uh, just, just in the nick of time. He goes short. The hit out for is Christine, pursued by Williams, but got away nicely. Get that one on, Harrington comes after the football, goes ahead and gets that one up, and balls up over the top, picked off by Izzy Greenblatt, who goes up high, and that one is intercepted by Abra, they're yelling for 50 on the sideline, but nothing comes of it, and then that one is stood up high by Delgadillo, bounces away, stays in play, Danielson tracking back to get it. Sam balls it across. When it's sent forward. And back nicely by Amanda Mora. Mora goes quickly. Has an option. Ian Petri didn't get to it. And balls it back. Oh, that one forward. Classically. Oh, so after the foot, he dropped it. And. All that, no play on. Harrington was in there, and as Arendale, number six, chases after it. Free kick. This is Eileen Yu, who played one season with Sacramento before LA got a team. And that one's picked off by Simone Shepard. Told to play on. She'll bounce it. Now sends that one deep. Up high, marked by Machado. Machado looking for options, trying to scramble the Jets. That's a pretty good kick. Inside 50. Kept in front by Rosie Crow. Snap to go. Can she get it to her foot? No, she's held up. And down she goes. Did she have prior opportunity? No. But Jackie White came very close. She found the ball in the mid-section. But Resiker was able to get on her and flash her a scoring opportunity. But they're not going to prevent Simone Shepard from picking a goal there. And the Sockeyes extend their lead. First goal for Shepard. That takes the one to 2 2 14. Sacramento, no score. Those of you who are watching of a certain age and thinking to yourself, I might be a little out of the age range to play Aussie rules football, especially in the U.S. Uh, at the age of 41, the native of Dandenong, Victoria, Simone Shepard is still an elite player in the U.S. AFL. And she does a little bit of everything. She's like a Swiss Army. If you're really nice, she'll open up your bottle of wine for you. This is Clark who tried to go forward. Arendelle was right there. They shovel that one back. And that is Clark who kicks that one forward inside 50. Goes off after it. Chasing after it is Ashley Green. Over into the pocket. And it looked like she might have gotten shoved in the back of the call. Cabot able to work that one out. Serpico clears it. Up high, drops in front. Shepard has it. Was she in the grass? No. They play it on, but they force the turnover. Allendale dropped the ball. Now comes the whistle. Right, Free kick. Mark up, son. Mark up. Find somebody who has defense now. Send your own defense. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send Sends that one forward. Out of the reach of Flo. Mark. Goes back to get it. One with uh, Caroline Sikara. That one's forward, and that one's going to be sent back by Williams, and it's marked again. And this time by Rosie Flo. Native of San Diego, California. Back from a knee injury that sidelined her the entire year, and that one was marked by Aaron Grant. 
I think that was a, uh, she had kicked that one away. She's a right into the person on the mark. And she goes after it. She's got to get rid of it. And, oh. and she's lucky. She is very, very lucky was uh, number 20, Grace McBaron, because she was about ready to throw. But, all is mine, Shepard against Graham. Got the ball down, Harrington. Graham has it. Back in, it's McCarran. And that almost a throw. That was set for Aaron. It was Crow, but didn't set up for her. Set up for the Chata. The throw was there. There was a Crow power hook to herself. She puts it with her side. Love throws where my Rosemary goes. She goes down the middle and finds it to me in the number eight, which is Erica Titus Lang. Two members, possible members of the Freedom. As, uh, they're headed to Racine. McSky, Titus Lay was there. That one scores across like a basket. Cockroach on the bathroom. They work to next week. They're able to get there first. They're going to kick her out. They're pushing her back, absolutely. And Sierra with the shove on Skinetch. Lawrence Skinetch, you picked the first goal of the game for the Sockeyes to lead. This match, 13 to nothing. Turn up to take a nice defensive Rosie Clough. Perfect disease coming your way. In the middle of the ground. Off the front of Skinetsky. Aaron Gale is there. Lamb picks it up. Hooks that one forward. Drops in front. Long ball. Couldn't pick it up cleanly. Serpico did. Serpico just finds the boundary line. Hey, Sam's good hustle. Keep up the pressure. Heather Serpico from Long Island, New York. Originally started her career back in 2013. They're about to play. Keep pushing. Mark up around. Sockeyes in 2016. Hey, Rango, watch 21 here off to your right. Blecker and Simone Shepard. Now look at how quickly he lost. A good hit by Williams. And takes her down with a half Nelson. And that. Saying it's ball up. They were looking for maybe a high contact, but they didn't get it. So, well, it's against Machado. Machado caps it straight down to Harrington. That one is kicked off. Kicked by Quinn. Sends that one forward again. Clean goals with Player B and the 16 who is ever. Uh, Abrook, who was picked up by Liz Daniels, also a freedom of love guy. Sends that one forward into the pocket, chasing after it is uh, this green black. She's able to keep that in play. And it stays in. Did it go out? Yes, it did. Look out for throw. Portland 2 2 14. Sacramento, no score. Brian Barrish here, the HPC event services presented the 2019 USAFL Western Regional Championship. The second game of both of these teams looking for their first win. Two teams that won this morning, Seattle and San Francisco, playing behind it. Picking that one up is Machado. Up in the Get to it and over in the corner, and he's back and he's the football. And I'm just still in the corner. I'm just looking at the Arizona at the time. There's seven minutes to go in the third. That's not right. Car, 14 year side, 13 year side um, for Sacramento. Uh, players of some of the others throw the ball once again. And he's out of bounds. Another boundary throw in the cut. Welcome to standing back in the play. Ball goes in. Big kick. Sending on the way. Over the top. Mark by Liz Danielson, and she used that frame of hers to steady the ball and shake off the defender. So Elizabeth Danielson, in the row of Sacramento State University, one of about five players on these teams to say that about. Kicked out one straight out of the air, and marked defensively by guess who? Number three, that's the own Shepard. Shepard. Side, Harrington tracking back. He had to go off her fingertips. She is to set upon quickly, going after it is Yoon. And stayed with it. Yoon hands off it. Picked that one up on the way was Squilla. And that one goes forward, but it's picked off. And 
back the other way. Now it's Now it's Corey. Now it's Corey. Top there was with Preston. The opposite side. Now it stayed in play. It was either and kept in by the 18, which was uh that was one of the ball has gone out of field. Portland, 2-2-14. Two, two, Sacramento. Tell her where to go. Arizona. Arizona. Off comes standing back in the play. Ball goes to Brown. Killing it. That one forward. Shepard, a long kick on the way. Chasing after that with Jackie White. Two, three, fifteen for Mitch. No score for Sacramento. Ball goes to Brown Warren, chasing after Hata. A little tap that one forward. Tap the forward again to Michelle. Pick it up! Uh, picking that one up, I think it's Silvio. And that one goes forward. Goes by Squilla. And uh, picking that one up again was Abrams. That one skitters across again. High up in the air. Is it going to sit up for you? Yes, it is. Just got it away. I mean, well, took her down without the football. Yeah, absolutely. So again, that might be Grace McCarron just not knowing that they're still getting her handle on the, on the play, on the, on the score. Tipped over the top left mark by Arendelle. There's Amy Arendelle. Again, loaned over from the New York Magpies, began her career with the Philadelphia Hawks. Kick is on the way. It's in short. Bounces away. Circle go over to keep that away from Vaughn Haroth. Put that one away, and then that one is Shepard. It comes out to the near side, tracking over with Williams as the ball goes out of bounds for a throw in. That stiff arm between Serpico and Von Hroff, bringing together two players that played against each other in the Central Regionals from two weeks ago. When Von Hroff, who plays for North Star, was playing with the Denver Blue Sox, while uh, Serpico, who Again, long-time member of the league, played the last three seasons with the Sockeyes, and moves across, living in Austin now, playing with the Austin Heat, with the Texas Heat. Williams picks it up, tries to find Carrington. Ball goes out and out. Spinning back in the play, Machado had it go down. Chasing after it, got shoved down. And uh, puts it back as a call. That'll be a free kick. Mark up! Mark up! Who's on this goal right here? This is Machado. He sends that one deep. Off the top, going for Parrington. Also, oh, Shepard thrown in there by Skinetchny. Nice job. Oh, there you go, guys. Went after it, but again, another mark by Simone Shepard. Here is Shepard who will go back. Long kick. Got plenty of time. Petri had to go for her fingers. Picked up again by Titus Wright, who's thrown to the ground. So too is you, and that's going to call because she didn't have the football. Let's go! Let's go! One of the Let's go! 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 Let's and looking for Machado, knocked down. Stayed in front, ball goes up high, and then kicked up and back the other way. That's Sakara. Goes forward, bounces through. Over to get it now. A. Brooks handballs it back, looking for Juliana Roberts. Bring that one in. Off the foot of Arendelle, he's going to go in after it. Kept it in play, trying to get away from Laura. Lost the footy. Got a decent handball off though, sent forward by Delgadillo. 
Thick Sky sends it back the other direction. It's the far side. It stays in play. Again, two sons after it. Squilla, long handball back. That one is sent forward again. One on one contest. It's going to roll forward. Going after it again is Roberts. Ball goes out of bounds on the truck side of the field here at the Capital FC Timber Sports Complex. And that is halftime at the football. So, very uh, tenuous first half, but it's Portland who held sway and they've gotten all the scoring opportunities at the half. It's the Sockeyes 2 3 15. Sacramento no score goals in the game. Simone Shepard and um, Warren Skinetchny will open the score. Here's step aside, come right back. You're watching the 2019 USAFL Western Regional Championship presented by HBC Event Services here on USAFL.com.